This is the Coastal Bend's most comprehensive high school football show. Friday Night Fever, proudly brought to you by CCRV, keeping RVs affordable and fun. Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Friday Night Fever. This has been one heck of a football game. We're currently in overtime. Let's punch up some of the live action here from Ray Aiken's Wildcat Stadium. Moments ago, the Wildcats scored on their first possession of the OT period to take a 36-29 lead. Now, we've got Alice with the ball for the first time. Second and three, and they need to score to keep this game going, and that's an incomplete pass out of bounds. So it's now going to be third and three, again with the Wildcats leading in a <laughs> wild football game tonight, 36-29. This game has certainly lived up to the billing, and uh, we kind of want to keep it on here for maybe another 30 seconds and see if we can get Alice to score and maybe send this game into a second overtime. If not, the Wildcats are going to come away with a, an incredible victory. We're going to show you some super highlights here in just a moment. Again, third down and three for Alice. And he, I don't think, got it. Let's see. I don't think he got the first down. Well, no, they are going to give it to him, so Alice is going to get the first down. They're going to move those chains, so they're going to move the ball a little bit closer to the goal line. So, again, Alice has got to score a touchdown. They're down seven in this overtime period. Okay, I think we got time to show one more play. UIL will allow us to show about two minutes of live action. So uh, we're getting close to that two-minute limit. So we got time to show one more play. All right, first and ten now for the Coyotes. And up the middle, it's a quarterback keeper, and he is going to be brought down at about the nine-yard line. Okay, let's roll the highlights. I want to show you how we got here tonight. First off, a big nine for former GP star quarterback Marty Akins. Make, uh, they, he retired his number 10 jersey tonight with his dad, the legendary coach, Ray Akins, which, of course, this stadium is named on, looking on uh, a very special night for the Akins family tonight. As for the game, a key North Zone battle the Coyotes at 5-1 overall. No losses yet in zone play. GP, meanwhile, one loss in zone play. They need a win tonight. And on that opening drive for Alice, they came out slinging it. Trey Jaramillo goes deep. He hooks up with Orlando Espinosa. And he is a hard man to bring down, finally at about the 20-yard line. A couple plays later, Alex Gonzalez finds Pater. And he scores. They get the two-point conversion, and they're up by a score of 8-0. GP answers. Opening drive, Ochoa hooks up with Brandon Landgraf. They're going to miss the two-point conversion. Alice still leads by a score of 8-6. to six. Second quarter, Ochoa going deep. Number seven, Jalen Brooks. But check out this great play by Alejandro Cazzino for Alice. He's literally going to take the ball away. Wow, what a play this is. So we're going back the other way. And speaking of great plays, Check out this great trick play here by the Coyotes. They're going to fake out just about everybody. Here we go. Devin Orta is going to throw back to the quarterback. Jaramillo perfectly executed. This made it 15 to 6 Coyotes. And then right before the half, Ochoa is going to throw a perfect pass to Landgraf. So the Wildcats get within 15 to 12 at halftime. So we go to the second half after an Alice fumble. Wildcats take the lead for the first time. That is Mark Flores runs in 19-15 GP. Then Coyotes regain the lead. Jaramillo, quarterback sneak. They're up 22 to 19. And then with 4.03 to play, Brandon Garza bangs home the short field goal. We're tied at 22 all. And then with just 55 seconds left, Jaramillo around the left side scores. 29-22. All right, let's get back to the live action. Alice still with the ball. They were facing third and 23. So now it's going to go to fourth down. They've got one last chance. They've been hit by a couple of major penalties here, and that has moved them back. So the situation is simply this. We're in the first overtime. Gregory Portland scored first. They got a touchdown, got the extra point to take a 36-29 lead. And now Alice finds themselves... Third and 33. It's a going to be a long haul for the Coyotes here if they want to send this game into a second overtime. Let's see what they can get it done. Jaramillo, he just had a terrific ball game tonight. Back, looking deep. 
Got a man incomplete. Wow. And now we're going to face fourth down and a mile. So Alice is going to be down to their final timeout, or actually their final play. And they are down to their final timeout. All right, we're going to throw it back to uh, the studio, and uh, we'll get back here as soon as we can let you know how this game goes.